What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So for today's video I decided to head up to LA. I just jumped into my Uber driver's car and yeah let's go ahead and say what's up to our Uber driver. Get acquainted. Um, so I only take cash, no checks, no credit cards, just straight take cash. cash. Uber, straight Uber cash. drivers don't take cash. Well, she's I, not. I she, take cash. She's not really an Uber driver fam. Uh, if you guys already have seen the channel, that is my girlfriend Gabriella, and we decided thought uh, we decided it would be fun to take you guys with us up to LA. Uh, we're gonna put around LA, uh, just see what we can do, and we're going to church tonight, Hillsong LA. That's actually the main reason why we're going, but we decided to go early, and yeah, see what we can do and find. LA is always a fun adventure, especially with this one. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for checking out the channel one more time, and let's go ahead and get today started. Came the prince of a town called Bel Air. Bel -Air. update for you. Gabby wants to tell you this story. I'll tell you the story, but it's not a very good one. So I was driving and you know, I, I'm not very good at driving in LA. Um, and I was looking at this really cute family and this little girl was reading at a bus stop and it was just the most precious moment ever. And I just shared it with Paul and I'm like, Paul, oh, look at this cute little family. And this guy in a blue Prius behind me honks at me. Huge and I'm dude. Really Yoked. big guy. And he's like, Thank you. Beep, beep. And literally, the light had just turned green, you guys. So I pull forward, I turn, I'm chilling, I'm driving, you know, kind of slow because I don't know where I am. And Paul's getting directions, whatever. The guy pulls up next to me when I'm at a stop sign and he says, You effing beep, beep. You need to pay attention when you drive. And I didn't respond. Or we were react both pretty dumbfounded. Because I didn't even know what to say. I was like, wow, that guy has a full beard. You know, all I could see is his face. And it was just facial hair. He's a hair. burly man. And I just looked at him like, wow, like that was really mean. So, Mr. Blue Prius man, I'm sorry if I got in your way during your day. But I had to see that beautiful picture of the little girl reading a book at the bus stop. So. That's my this story. Is what it is. I literally wasn't even texting, you know. Whatever. I don't text and drive. Oh, that's really good. Unless I'm at a stop sign. And usually I don't. But if I do, it's at a stop sign. It's a happy camper. <laughs> this is dank. You like your food? Oh my gosh. The best food I've ever had. Ever. Since last night. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation sounds a new beginning As distant hearts begin believing Redemption's bit is unrelenting Your love goes on Your love goes on What's up fam? And this is G, Gabriella, and this is P, Paul. Yep. And we're about to go to Venice. I've never been to Venice before, so I'm just, I'm really excited to be honest with you. Um, Paul says there's lots of fun things to see, so <laughs> I hope Me. you guys, if you've never been to Venice, um, we're, we're taking you there today, so. This should be fun. We just finished eating, and by the one way, that West Washington Boulevard, Los that burger was to die for. So, if you want a burger, what was it the humble? The humble potato. Humble potato. Yelp is my best friend. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys.
What's up fam? So we just got out here to Venice Beach. As you can see here, very, very beautiful. Take Gabby here for the first time because she has never been. It's, it's really great. It's kind of similar to Newport Beach, but longer. <laughs> no, just, just wait till we get to like where Look, everything it's really is. Busy. No, no, just wait till you get to where everything is. Hey, I'm gonna show you the other. This pier. is nothing right now, Gab. Well, yeah, I've seen it in you know YouTube videos, but now I'm experiencing it, so it's gonna be fun. And <laughs> yeah, we got some good footage for you guys. There's some very unique people here. Okay, so. do you have it? Cause yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. um, very unique people here. I almost dropped the camera. Awesome so. culture and diversity. I'm excited to to show her. It's gonna be fun. think so far? I think it looks good. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? The time is up for chasing shadows. You gave the world a lot to follow. But no girl gives way. Carry us, carry us with your own. Back in the car and Venice was definitely an experience and if you've never been I highly recommend going because um, it's just fun honestly there's so many different kinds of people there and it's just really cool to see what America looks like um, it's a melting pot pot <laughs> melting plot <laughs> pot how'd you how'd you like it Paul yeah this I've been there quite a few well not quite a few times that, this is a, that's like my fourth time there and yeah it's very reminiscent of you know just a melting pot of culture and like every socio-economic class is there from like wealthy people who like live right on uh the boardwalk to just like right. you know to normal people and yeah it's pretty cool what's up fam so we just got here to what street is this? I don't know, but it's the general region where uh, Intelligentsia coffee is. This is some of the best coffee, in my opinion, like in the world. It's so, so good. And I've been to Sight Glass. Um, I've been to Verve. Um, I actually went to school at Santa Cruz, so I used to go to Verve all the time. Uh, this spot, guys, is, is probably my favorite. And yeah, if you guys are ever in LA, I highly and, and you're into coffee, I highly suggest you guys check this place out. Uh, the air is really, really cool too. Uh, there's tons of shops and things of that nature. And yeah, it's just a cool area, very like hip and stuff. Uh, but be prepared to spend a pretty penny because this area isn't cheap. Here we go, fam. Yeah, this is the best coffee ever. This is my favorite. Really excited. She knows the way to my heart. And thank you for buying my coffee, babe. Appreciate it. I love you. Love you too. PDA, PDA, we can't We're do that. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we are currently just leaving. Really? Got our coffee in hand, Intelligentsia. 
the best. I'm not sponsored by them, but if you guys want to sponsor me, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Anyways, um, I'm gonna change real quick, and then we're gonna head to Hillsong. We just parked here at the Blasco Theater parking lot. Unfortunately, they don't allow cameras inside the venue um, of church. So what I'm going to do is uh, record with my phone. So I apologize in advance for the subpar quality or video quality. And yeah, it's guys. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a rule because um, there's a lot of like celebrities that go here and whatnot. So um, I, 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 I totally respect that. And, you know, it's a house of worship and things of that nature. So... We're gonna go ahead and go inside right now and take you with us with the camera phones. Just got in here to Hillsong. We got lucky with seats, huh, babe? So here's church. Super sick venue. Yeah, guys, wish you guys were here with us. Yeah, let's get into the word, yeah? He said in verse 44, then he turned towards the woman and said to Simon, I want you to picture this, he's not looking at Simon. He turned towards the woman. He's now no longer, well, he never did, but Simon had objectified her. She was a sinner. She was a sinful woman. Jesus just called her a woman. He saw past what she did to who she was. And the Bible says he turned towards the woman and said to Simon, I love this part. He said, Simon, do you see this woman? What a probing question. Simon's obviously just been having a conversation to himself about that woman. Simon obviously saw that woman come in and Simon obviously saw that woman let down her hair and begin to wash the feet of Jesus. But Jesus is asking the most probing question that I believe he's asking the church today. Church, do, do you see these people? Do you see this woman? Because Simon, you're looking at her Simon, you're judging her. Simon, you're objectifying her. But you're obviously not seeing her. Because there's a very big difference between looking at someone and seeing the person. There's a very big difference between looking at what someone does and seeing a person. And here's the danger. And this is where we're at in the day in which we live. A lot of us are looking. We live in the culture of looking, 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 looking. But when you look, you can just look away. When you look, you can just overlook. But when you see, no longer unseen. And we have a generation that doesn't want to see. And that's why we can scroll through Instagram and like a kale salad and go straight past someone that was rescued from human trafficking. It is amazing that I could post myself eating a kale salad. I'll get 10,000 likes. I post a person getting rescued from traveling from human trafficking and I might get a tenth of those likes. There's something wrong with us. We have a world that is looking but is not seeing. And Jesus says, What's up fam? So we just got done at church. Uh, this is gonna wrap up today's vlog. Thank you so, so much for uh, continually uh, encouraging the channel, myself, uh, Gabriella, and I don't know, man, we're just, we're just so grateful uh, that we get to, to do these videos. It's so much fun. I know that Gabby's blessed to do them, and I can definitely speak for both of us. It's the same thing on my end. And yeah, man, hopefully the, the footage isn't too shaky or anything of that nature, or too grainy, and yeah, man, it was such a fun day. Always a fun time with, with this girl over here on a day off when we have nothing to do. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us on just a, a normal a normal Sunday. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, I hope you guys watch uh, the part where the 
what, what's her name? Christy? Christine Kane. Christine. Yeah, Christine. She's an awesome woman of God and an inspiration. And the message that she gave tonight was just Epic. so on point. And I, yeah. I feel like so convicted because so often I feel like we do um, turn our heads to see people and mm. to see that what God's doing in their life. So, yeah, I just encourage you to check it out. And if you can, do they have it online? Yeah, they probably have it podcasted. Yeah, so. It's definitely worth listening to you guys. It's so good. Yeah. It was Anyways, fun hanging out with you. As we end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, we're going to say peace and be blessed. Be blessed. Bless God. <laughs>